Guys, welcome to my video today and we're going to talk about the top five courses on Coursera. So Coursera is a terrific platform. It's a platform that I like to use a lot. It has some great courses on there and you get a really nice uh, little professional certificate for your resume anytime you get a, you complete a course on there. This resume, this, uh, this certificate may or may not be helpful depending on what kind of job you're applying to, but it can't hurt, you know, especially if you don't have experience or like you just you really need to put something on your resume this can definitely help you get a job now I've met people that have gotten uh, multiple of these certificates and have gotten a job with them including the IT support one the IT support one considering that is a job you don't usually need a college degree for at least a bachelor's degree a lot of people can get a job in some kind of IT support role with just this certificate I've seen it happen many times Usually it'll be a smaller company. It'll be like their first job. It could be something like they go to people's houses to fix their computer or, you know, some kind, just some kind of IT support role. It can be a help desk role, you know, where people call you and you work for a company like, like a community college you work for and you solve their technical problem. So you can get many, many jobs with that certificate. So I'm going to get into the top five right now and number five on this list. Number five on this list, guys, is Google Data Analytics, and this is one of the most popular certificates on Coursera. So I think it's been done the most out of any course on Coursera is this uh, certificate, Google Data Analytics. So can this get you a job with just the certificate? It is possible, especially if you already work for a company that has the job opening and they give you preference. Um, you can get some kind of data analytics role. Usually you do need a bachelor's for a data analytics role, but if you already have a bachelor's that is completely unrelated to tech, like let's say you have a bachelor degree in history, then you possibly can get a job with this certificate. And I have seen it happen. So, you know, instead of going back and getting a master's or going back and getting a yet another bachelor's, you can just get this certificate and try to mass apply for jobs. Can you get one without a bachelor's at all? It'll be much more difficult. Uh, it's possible. It is possible. But like I said, you're going to be competing with a lot of people with bachelor degrees. And these medium to big companies have filters uh, where if you don't have a bachelor's, they don't even let your resume get past the screening part. So, you know, the smaller companies you'll have more of a chance with, you know, get that data analyst role. Uh, with just the certificate if you don't have a college degree. It is possible, just very difficult. This certificate will absolutely help you get a job. Uh, I have gone over this a little bit in a previous video. Uh, it's my other Coursera video that I did quite a while ago. Um, but this will help you learn R, unless they have changed it. But you learn R, you learn how to process data, uh, data analysis with R programming. Um, very good, very good good course you will absolutely learn how to you know pull data uh, clean the data analyze the data visualize the data and program with R so you're gonna learn a lot of useful stuff for data analytics guys number four on this list is meta iOS developer professional I have taken this one I've taken a lot of iOS courses uh, this one is really really good I highly recommend it. Um, Meta and Coursera, they kind of have like this partnership. There's a lot of great Meta courses on Coursera and they are one of the, some of the best courses that you can take on Coursera. Like I said, that's like the subcategory of Coursera. They have a pretty deep partnership and all the courses are extremely high quality. So this one has a 4.7 out of 1400 reviews. It's beginner level. It's very lengthy though. Um, like if you only invested a middle, minimal amount every week, you're looking at eight months, but seven hours a week, that's like one hour a day. If you wanted to complete this in a month and a half, you can definitely absolutely do that. Um, really good stuff in here. Version control, programming fundamentals in Swift. So you will learn Swift. You will learn UX UI design, which is definitely needed for a mobile developer. Uh, create a user interface in Swift UI. Swift UI is the absolute future of iOS programming. Advanced programming in Swift, mobile development in JavaScript. And you learn React in this, which is really cool. So you get React Basics, React Native. 
this is a great, great course. So if you want to learn iOS, if you want to get a job as an iOS developer, iOS engineer, if you love Apple, you know, you want to be a mobile developer, this is a great starting point for you. So like I said, if you're coming off like a computer science degree or you have no degree and you really want to learn iOS programming, either to make an app yourself or to get a job, this is a terrific uh, course. And the certificate looks great on your resume. And also you get the keyword meta on your resume as well, which is a huge keyword that tech jobs look for. They look for Meta, they look for Google, they look for Amazon, right? Because these are big places. And if you worked at these places, you get um, a huge bonus point to your like keyword. Because all these, all these uh, resumes get scanned, their keywords get scanned. So if you have Meta on there, it's gonna think you worked for there, and then it's gonna boost up your resume to the top. So great, great, um, great certificate on your resume. All right, guys, this is the next one. It is machine learning from Stanford. And you get one of the best professors there is in machine learning, Andrew. Absolutely terrific professor. This course is a 4.9, which is a 25,000 reviews. I have taken this course myself. It's really good. It's more beginner level, but it will teach you all the basics of machine learning. And it will prepare you for like a college level machine learning class. Uh, because I would not recommend taking a college level machine learning class if you don't know the basics. Uh, if you don't know, you know exactly what machine learning is. So college level classes are not intro to machine learning. They are like, they expect you to know a little bit already. So this class will teach you everything, the ins and outs. Uh, you're going to work on some projects. You know, it's a really good course. I highly recommend it. You can go down here, unsupervised learning, uh, reinforcement learning, which is really big, advanced learning algorithms. So just really good stuff and with a great professor that really explains things in a, he has the art of explaining something extremely technical in a simple way. And not many people have that skill. So props out to Andrew, uh, great course here, machine learning, Coursera, Stanford, go ahead and take it. Number two on this list guys is Google IT support professional. And if you are looking for a certificate or a course that is going to give you the best chance of getting a job it is this one you know let's say you only have you have no college degree or you only have an associate degree this certificate can get you a job without a bachelor's I've seen it happen many times either they'll work like I said like I said earlier in the video if you get this certificate and you learn the skills from this course uh, you can get a job in some kind of help desk role um, like I said some kind of help desk role where you're helping people with a technical problem over the phone or in person, you know, and it's like your first tech job. Also, I've seen people with this certificate and no degree basically also work for like a small company where they go to people's houses and they fix computers. I actually ran into somebody, uh, and this was a while back, like a few months ago, where somebody came to my house to fix my computer and they had they knew me from youtube basically and they had this certificate the google it support professional certificate and they had gotten a job with this certificate so that is just kind of a small world really you know person came to my house to fix my computer they recognized me from youtube and also they had gotten a job with this certificate the google it support professional certificate basically they go to people's houses fix computers uh, it's a cool little job, especially as you're like, if you're in college, getting a bachelor's degree, that's a cool little job to have in the meantime. Also a great networking opportunity. Like if you're going to people's houses to fix their computer, it's, that's always a great networking opportunity. You can meet many people, uh, maybe somebody that can help you get a job. You know, maybe you go to somebody's house that, you know, is a big time, uh, it could be a CEO, it could be somebody that works in the tech world that can, you know, help you get a job. Uh, a lot of you probably don't realize that everything is connection based. You know, it, connections are everything. You still need the degree, you still need the skills, but connections are everything. So that that's real advice. <laughs> you know, that's a lot of YouTubers won't say that. that that's literal, 
real advice, connections mean everything. So build up your connections, meet as many people as you can. Number one on this list, guys, is prompt engineering for chat GPT. So prompt engineering, I think, is the future. AI is not replacing software engineering, guys, but prompt engineering is the future where you might be coding with prompt engineering. You might be doing all your tasks with prompt engineering. What is prompt engineering? You know, basically, chat GPT is one form. There's many different, there's many different uh, GPTs, basically. There's many different places you can prompt engineer, but one is chat GPT. Basically, you type up a prompt. You make it as detailed as possible, right? Like... One prompt could be, hey, chat GPT, do this essay for me. Uh, that's not very specific, right? Let's say you want to code an app with chat GPT and you just give it the absolute most information you can possibly give it. You know, line one this, line two that, like I need it this color, I need it, I need it to function this way, I need it to do this when somebody says this. Like there's so many things that you can that you can do with chat GPT. And prompt engineering is the future. I'm working on a course myself uh, for prompt engineering. Um, I've been learning prompt engineering myself for well over a year, and it really is the future. Uh, ChatGPT just keeps getting better and better and better, and ChatGPT, more rivals of it are coming out too. You know, ChatGPT 5 is scheduled to come out in the near future, uh, but ChatGPT 4 is absolutely amazing. If you learn how to craft the perfect prompt, you can do so much. You can be so productive and create your own things. Um, you know, and I think it is the future for, like I said, if you're going to be a software engineer, you, ChatGPT is getting to the point where you can, it can assist you coding in a lot of different ways on a lot of different things. I still don't think it's at the point where it can create something like an app from scratch, although it's pretty close, you know, so... ChatGPT is amazing. Prompt engineering is the future. So, you know, get in on this gold rush. Learn prompt engineering. Learn ChatGPT. Master ChatGPT. This course is really good. Uh, 4.8, 97%. It's not going to take you that long. So, prompt engineering, Vanderbilt University, great school. Coursera, great platform. Uh, also, guys, if you want 30% off Coursera Plus, so 30% off Coursera Plus, please use the link. In the pinned comment or the link in the description and you will get 30 percent off for coursera plus which gives you access to every single course on the platform for a year so you can do as many courses as you want and it's about the same price as a course per month so i believe a course regular priced from coursera is 49 a month and coursera plus is 59 a month so and with 30 percent off it's even cheaper but you know, 59 a month, and you get access to the entire website every single course. So basically just $10 more a month. And with 30% off, you're looking at, you know, 40 or less. So much, much cheaper. Anyways, guys, I hope you have a wonderful time, a wonderful weekend, and I will see you next time.